It took a lot of passion, you know, because nothing happens overnight. You really got to love what you do, because if you don't love what you do, you know, you're going to end up getting stagnated, end up hating it, because you feel like, oh, that million dollars not around the corner, or whatnot, you know, and um, you really got to love what you do. You got to wake up, breathe, eat, and it takes a lot of passion, a lot of hard work, dedication. You're not going to have people believe in you, but you just got to be like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Don't let that energy and be like, oh, so what, you're not supporting me. That, nah, just use all that energy and go on when you're writing that next line or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Put all that energy, all that passion, all that, everything you've been through into them lines, you understand? And it'll mean a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Cause, and I always say stay true to yourself, because out of the five people in the group, one of them like your music. Focus on that one, you know what I'm saying? The other four, you'll end up coming back around. You gotta really be passionate about what you do and staying true to yourself. It's called Bishop, you hear me? We fight to stick together. Feel this. Bishop. Wanna know where I'm from? Yeah, if y'all ain't a dream, then you can sit in a bump. One toast, talk bad, but then you settle for crumbs. Wanna know just how I feel? start your first club performance, you know, well, I'm DJing at the time. So we said, you know, come to the class, go, we bought the whole Pacific Alley, you know, Midtown, downtown, whatever, Pacific Park. Mad people came out, show love, deep. And got some bottles, you know, he don't drink though. One day he might grow up and drink a little bit, but he don't drink. But so, you know, he got on stage, first song was Bishop. People felt it, it was, it was hard. And I said, you know what, let's go back to our first song that we did like four years ago. All about the Benjamins. That beat in the background, I was like, whoa, whoa, the crowd went crazy. You know, it was like, hey, hey, doing that dance, whatever, you know, passion, Bob John, whatever they have, whatever they do. But it was it was dope. Everybody loved it. If you want to come back more, so then we went back to Edge Lounge, performed Bishop again, and all about the Benjamins. Crowd went crazy, people wilding, meeting with the bottle, just pouring on ourselves, just doing ridiculous stuff. But it was a good time, you know, we had a good time. It was just, it was just fun, you know, when we, when we linked, there was always chemistry. Like even though I don't know what he's gonna say next or what, he doesn't know what I'm gonna do next. We just on, on a point with it. So, you know, DJ here, the ill rapper, you know, he got the moves, I got the grooves. I got them together, it's smooth. You know what I mean? Working with Soul, I fucked working with Soul, man. One thing about Soul, man, I'll send this motherfucker a beat. He'll have that shit in my email fucking five hours later. <laughs> That's one thing I fuck with so, you know, he's always dedicated to his shit. You know, I hate when people ask me for beats and shit. You know, I hear nothing out of them, but that's just one thing I fuck with so, you feel me? Always get shit back in my email as quick as possible, you feel me? Me and so, our relationship is like, that's, that's fan. So, <clears throat> you know, constructive criticism is like easily accepted both ways. You know what I mean? I don't take I don't take it to the heart. If you if you know if you say your oh, cuz, you know, don't switch it up, you know, do this, do that. You know, I take that and you know it's something that damn I ain't look at it that way. Or it'd be the same way vice versa, your oh, cuz, you know, say it say it a little bit this way, or, or you know, maybe do it a little bit like that. You know, try it. You know, and then, if, you know, if it go through, it go through, and it's good. You know what I mean? We're family, so it's like, we could, like I said, we could take constructive criticism. I could, I could tell him something that I don't like. He could tell me something that we don't like a little, 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 um, you know what I mean? Make it, make it happen, make it work. Like Nas talk about QB and like yeah, Queensbridge, like da da da. And it makes you have that feel like you makes you wanna feel like you're in Queensbridge and shit and like you wanna feel up the energy and it's like a sense of pride that they have in it. So the city has pride in that artist, you know, and I feel like you're doing that right now. So the world could feel perceived, you know what I'm saying? Like in your songs you rap about certain people in our town or certain things. People out the world don't know yet. But if you show that passion with that music and keep people gonna look into that shit, like, oh, what the fuck? Yo, 
Just like how they did it with Hope or, or Nas or Snoop or Dre, whatever, like, dude, Dre accompanied on NWA, shit like that. The follows when you put that work in and, like, you show that price, like, like, I feel like you should never stop talking about this shit. <laughs> Like you want to ride. <laughs> Come on, man. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good one. 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 He's just living for it. He's breathing that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta live the life. He breathes the life. That's him. You know what I'm saying? So his work ethic is not even work to him. It's just him living his life. And that's what he wants to do, you know? It's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be like you got your team, your homeboys. You feel what I'm saying? Like you got exactly. niggas that you started with. Have you do something? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying, "Yo, I'ma buy you a house." Yeah. You understand? You be like, "Nah, I'd rather teach you how to fish right. than give you the fish." You understand? And and that came from like eighteen of you. Like we we built something with Fleece since '93. Right. Quentin, we built something with Quentin right. Films. You feel what I'm saying? Like it, it, it took a while, you know, but it's getting done. Slow process better than no process, and we not cheaping ourselves out and how to get it done. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Exactly. Like it took like people ask me all the time, like um, like who engineer your stuff? Me, mm -hmm. cause nobody would know how to engineer how I wanted to sound. And, like a couple five six years ago. Um, wow, it's been that long, but I uh, we went to a party at my, my boys' house, and I came with my brothers, Ty and Jay, and, you know, I was over there doing my thing, DJ and stuff, you know, looking at the music and shit, and then, you know, doing some instrumentals, see this kid come in with a bubble jacket on, with a camera, and talking about, nah, I got this, everybody's like, nah, let me rip, let me rip, I'm like, who's this guy, I've never heard of him, you know? I mean, sometimes you get these people that just, ah, they suck. So I was like, yeah, let me put some more. As soon as he started spinning the first bar, I was like, oh shit, this one was nice. I was like, damn, he got bars, but it was like, I'll work with him. I was like, but, you know, I'm not going to go up to him and say I'm going to work with him. He has to come up to me because, you know, just, I don't, I don't want to feel like, feel like I'm feeding off people in cases. So, like, ever since then, that day we talked, we met, went up, did a track, all about the Benjamins, sold in the house, it was just, and from there, it was like a brothership, you know? And we just, like, you know, hit it off. It was just cool. But get who played it first! DJ, so real! Sound! Get back! Yeah! Rock with it, rock with it, baby! Yeah. We back with another one! Soul yeah. American Dream! Let's go, let's go! Yeah! Where'd you find that? Together, like, like with Soul, like Soul's leadership, like Soul, Soul's really a leader, and he he brings the best out of people. You know, it makes you believe in yourself. Like he'll sit there. And like you know, some people like they're like, oh, your friend's gas, you know. So like, he not gas, you know. He's so serious. Like the look, you see the look in his face. Like you know, it seems like he being crazy about. It, but that's you need some crazy motherfuckers in your life that's gonna push you like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> To make it in this game, you gotta stay disciplined and stay in focus and keep the right people around you. Because sometimes people around 22, they're already wild, you know? And they don't learn until they're 28, 30, you know? I'm trying to make these 
this million feed the family to get back to the kids in this community right. early, you know what I'm saying? So they can have somebody to look up to or something like that, you know what I'm saying? They can have dreams and believe in themselves, you know, because where I'm from, he's either at 13, kids start gangbanging, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even younger than that, you know? So I'm just trying to give them a lane that they can do something, believe in themselves, whether it's football, basketball, whatever you want to do, you right. know what I mean? As long as you stay disciplined and keep good people around you, it's gonna keep you stable, you're gonna have somewhere good about it. Man, since we was younger, man. I mean, I remember starting from the laptop. We sitting in your room and we pull up the beat. We you and Jock, you know, so freestyle. And we had to be a part of the team. We were young. 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 We were I want to stick to playing ball. My boy, like, he took flight with it. I seen it from the ground. Zero. I seen it from the ground. I mean, he took it to a whole another level and became a beast with it. And to this day, right now, it's just a different breed. So I already know. You want to be smart, you want to be strategic, you want to know how to move, you want to move around certain people. You understand? That's the same thing with the rap game. Mm -hmm. You want to move around certain people. You want to move around people that's out to get it in. Strong minds that's, that's not stagnated and don't want to be around people that be struck off anything like let's say, oh, look who he is. Oh, this guy with a big pop. All right, don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. we going to get it too. Right. You understand? No hitting to the next man, but so no time keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. we going to get right there, you know, and we're not going to go around the corner together. We're going to go straight through. We're going to feel exactly. all the bumps and bruises and anything because mm -hmm. nothing better than when you get bumps and bruises that when you get it again at the top, you know how to handle it. Yo, every time I'm calling him, be in the studio. He always ignore my calls. He, he do, he do shit like that. I don't know. Listen, you said talk about me and you. I'm talking about shit that I know. Then talk to you. Shit, I'm talking shit. When I call you, I don't answer my phone. What you doing? I'm in the studio. I just did like four or five songs. I can't never get in contact with you, with you at all. I mean, I love the guy. You know what I mean? Like. To be so young, but to have like that discipline and that work ethic, that's something that a lot of people could actually learn from, you know. Um, not just young artists, but you know, older artists or, or any walk of life that you're in right now, you gotta have the work ethic. Because talent is one thing, uh, but to have the work ethic to go along with it, that takes you um, to the next level. And that's something that he and I, you know, talk about all the time. Like people, there's gonna be every. I always operate under the mindset that everybody's more talented, but you gotta outwork them. You know what I mean? So if you're willing to put in the work, then you get the results. If you're not willing to put in the work, then, you know, those are the results that you get. At all. <laughs> Every time you didn't, you didn't want to call me, oh, we should do this, let's shoot this, let's shoot that, let's shoot this. We're going to do that. Like, damn, we're going to party or something. We're going to ball. Damn. Sit in the studio and work on music all the time. Ah, right, you popping and all. Okay, cool. No problem. <laughs> you know, Transpiring all that that's going on into my world, into how my stories are reflect, you know, um, and change the world, you know what I'm saying? Because you have artists like Nas, Old, they changed where they were from and changed the game, you know, by telling their story and being true to who they were as artists. And I was trying to figure out how can souls do that. Oh, you put it different, man. I see it long. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I remember I took him to, um, I think he was out in Queens for uh, Spit Jams. I think it was his one day celebration, or it might have been a performance or something. And at the end of the night, um, it was, it was a cypher, it was, it was myself, it was Jen, it was nuts, so I think um, Starving Me was there, it was a bunch of like, animals on the mic, and uh, I remember the camera came out and it was like, yo, we about to do the cypher real quick, and it was like, who gonna go first, and I remember Soul was like, yo, I'll go, and I was just like, okay, you know, like, that showed that he was really about it, you know what I mean, like, he came out there, Nobody really knew who he was, they, you know. In fact, he was so young, I had to talk to the bouncer to even let him get into uh, the spot that we was in. Let him come in, um, you know, introduce him to everybody that was there. I think Psycho Les um, from Beating Us was there, AG The Corner, a, cu a couple people was there. You know, so I brought him through and, um, you know, he was himself, you know. Uh, everybody liked him and then when it was time for 
you know, the microphone won't even get his thing, and he just jumped right into it. And he was like, yo, I got this. And he rocked first, and he set the old tempo. That footage is floating around somewhere. I don't know who has it. I don't think, I don't know if Jim's has it or Nutso or somebody, but that footage is definitely floating around. And he just came through and he killed it. Like, um, and that's been him. Every time I've asked him to do something, every time it's been time for him to step up, like he steps up, you know. And um, that's definitely another quality that's going to definitely serve him well in all his endeavors and whatever he's trying to do. Working with Soul is like, um, the whole thing is a vibe. You know? like, like before we even before we even get to any kind of music making, you know what I'm saying? We just vibe out, chill. We don't even talk about music when we get, like, when we hang out. Um, usually it's like, we got, we get inspired off of something that we sitting there talking about, um, conversation that we having. What we go through outside, it gives me something to talk about while I'm in the studio, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, situations like that make me be like, damn, we gotta get out of here, man. We've been in here, we've been here too long, you understand? Um, no, so that, that gives me the inspiration to do what I got so I watch him on the blogs, I watch him on his videos, you know, I watch him, all his moves, you know, and uh, I'm like the silent part in like a restaurant or something, I don't, I don't say a whole lot, but I watch and I'm definitely inspired by what he does and, you know, I wish him nothing but success um, because I know it's coming, you know, and I know he's deserving of it, so, you know, as far as soul, the American dream, you know, that's my man right there. So that, that's anybody that does anything productive, independent, will be prized. You know what I'm saying? Because it took your passion, it took your energy, it took your money in your pocket. You understand? Right. So how you, after the whole product is done and it's out and ready to move, you're prideful about that. You understand? Be all I can be. 22, I went farther than a teacher can teach. And I'm stubborn like my father, so you cannot reach. Either that I start rapping or I go to the streets. But everybody know my family, so I can't sell drugs. Always kept a girlfriend, but I never felt love. Everybody had a situation when they gave up. Say life is a game, well, I had to lace up. That's close to the heart. I don't know where to end, but I know when to start. Still remember when I almost got shot.